Hello everyone and welcome to InfoSec Train. This is Rishabh Kutyal and today we are going to discuss AZ900 exam question which is your Azure Fundamental Certification. Let's just discuss few questions today. Very first question is your organization is planning to migrate all its network resources to Azure. You need to start planning process by exploring Azure. What should be the first thing you create? So if you guys are familiar with the particular Azure fundamentals, you will be picking up answer very quickly. On the next slide, I am going to highlight the key point of this question, which will be helping you narrow down your answers. We will be discussing what are the options and we will see what is the answer as well. So your options are A, subscription, B, resource group, C, virtual network, and D, management group. So again, if I read the question one more time, so your organization is actually planning to migrate all its network resource to Azure. So here I have highlighted the key point in this question, which is you need to start planning process by exploring Azure. What should be the first thing you create? So here the highlighted point is saying that up to now you haven't explore Azure at all and you are the responsible person who is going to do all the migration. So first thing is you need to get yourself familiar with the Azure. So for that what you are going to do. So if I give you the example to compare the scenario, if you have a picture you want to upload it onto the Instagram, what will be the very first thing you will be doing? So the answer for that question is going to be that I'm going to go log in myself or try to log in into the particular Instagram. But if I'm doing it for the very first time, I have to create an account over there. Okay. So same case here as well that you have to create an account on the Azure. Now, if you want to get yourself familiar with the Azure, you want to just start using its services. You have to pay something to the Azure as well. Now, how are you, they are going to charge you. They are going to charge you against the subscription, right? So the answer for this particular question is going to be the subscription A, right? So in order to take advantage of Azure's cloud-based services, you must have a subscription. You can think subscription as an account in this case as well, right? You get billed per subscription here. And a subscription is an agreement with Microsoft to use one or more cloud services, right? So you will be charged against that particular subscription. So let's just say that if you have spin up a virtual machine, it is running for one hour, two hours. So for how long it is running, how long you are using the resources, you are going to pay to the particular Azure here. Right now, there are multiple different type of the subscription here. You could be using a free subscription, right? So when you will be signing up for the first time, there is option that you can create a free account. You will be uh, given the $200 credit, which you can use to just test out the features of the Azure. In this scenario as well, if you keep, take this into the real life as well, if someone is giving you the responsibility to exploring Azure, so you are first thing going to create the free account and try to see that what are the offers from the particular Azure and then you will be deciding. Or another type of subscription could be your pay as you go, where you will be attaching your credit card and debit card and you will be billed monthly and what kind of resource you are using. Based on that, you will be charged, right? Or there could be some student free accounts as well, where you have to prove that you are a student and then you will be exploring or taking the feature uh, advantages of the Microsoft services all the time. So the, these are the few different types of the services which you are subscriptions, we, which we are having, right? And one more thing, there is the enterprise subscription as well, which is the single enterprise agreement, which is used for the uh, bulk purchase of subscription and you will be provided the license uh, discount for the new license and software assurance from the Microsoft itself as well. So there are multiple different type of subscription which is available with the Microsoft Azure. So the answer for the first question is your A subscription. Answer can't be the resource group, virtual network management group because to spin up a virtual network resource group, you need to have the subscription in place, right? So answer for this question is A, 
Okay, so thank you for joining us today in the AZ 900, which is your Azure Fundamental Certification questions, right? Wishing you all very best of luck. Hope all of you are going to clear Azure Fundamental exam. Thank you.